bagpiper. Now, quick show of hands, how many of you think of bagpipes and instantly it's old man in a skirt? Yeah, I get it, I get it. But you know what, for me, the pipes were this amazingly intoxicating instrument. They were incredibly hard, ridiculously loud, and I was all in. I had to know more. So imagine my parents' delight. They think they're getting their piano tuned by a very good family friend, and I spend the afternoon talking to him about bagpipes. <laughs> Mr. Burns looks at me and he says, so you play the tuba, you throw shot, put your families from Scotland and Ireland, really, why aren't you playing the pipes? And by the end of the afternoon, I'm in. That summer, my parents, for my birthday, got my very own set of Highland bagpipes. They were stunning. They were awesome, and I couldn't play them for like six months. I had to work on a practice channel so I didn't pass out or it didn't sound like I killed a cat. But I got over that hump, and after six months, I was able to start taking my pipes different places, and I had the opportunity to go to a family event. Big, big family, and we're all there, and I play, and my older cousin, Scott, he comes to me and he says, ha, it's easy. He picks them up, he nearly passes out. Awesome. <laughs> Now my kill, this is our family's tartan. This is our history. And back in the day, it's what we used to knew, know who was on our side. Now it's more of our tradition and it's our heritage. But it's funny, because the most common question I usually get asked, <laughs> right? Well, this is my answer. Friends, if I'm wearing underwear, that make it a skirt and I don't wear skirts. <laughs> My family was so amazingly supportive. I usually practiced outside, or I'd go down to the high school and practice. You can hear the pipes up to 10 miles away, right? But on occasion, when the weather was bad, I'd have to go inside. I always wore earplugs, but they were lifesavers for my family if they didn't run fleeing from the house. Now, many of the favorite events that I had, some of them were during the winter that I had to practice indoors. But one of my most favorites was the St. Andrew's dinner, and I had the honor of piping in the haggis. And I would pipe in the haggis, and the head of the clan would, would open it up and give the first serving to the piper with a, a shot of scotch whiskey. I was underage. Haggis is this wonderful mixture of the lungs, the liver, the heart, boiled with blood and oatmeal in the sheep's stomach. Without scotch, it's no good. <laughs> I had so many great adventures that I got to pipe at. I was able to pipe weddings and funerals. I piped solo and I piped with my, my great instructor, Mr. Burns. One of my most favorite events, though, was going to bagpipe school. And I was able to go several years in a row. And what was so amazing about it is I wasn't alone. There were a bunch of us running around in kilts, geeked out, ready to learn this crazy hard instrument. And what was even better is we had people fly in from Scotland to teach us. It was awesome. We got to pipe in the 4th of July parade and to sit as part of a pipe band and you hear the snare drums roll and you blow up the bag till you have the right pressure and you all hit it in sync and the drones take off and you start to march in step two and you start into Scotland the Brave. It is awesome. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. It is like Braveheart on steroids, I'm telling you. But the other part of bagpipe camp, I was in the, uh, the hills of California, and there was a, a single piper who started in on the first verse of Amazing Grace, and by the second verse, nine other pipers and a full orchestra backed him. And by the third verse, it was just the piper again, and it was like a warm blanket you would wrap yourself in. It was stunning and beautiful. For me, the bagpipes were something not just about history or old men in skirts. It took this band geek to being a part of something bigger because really, <laughs> you look at ACDC, you got Slash from Guns N' Roses, and even Shakira all play the bagpipes. And what is cooler than Darth Vader on a unicycle playing the pipes? Yeah.
Thank you.